and welcome today we are going to discuss what is inductor and what is inductance this is an inductor just we take a wire and a current is passing through it the current is the flow of electrons and each electron carries an energy when a current is passing through it a magnetic field is generated around it the magnetic field is denoted by the letter h h is equal to directly proportional to the i that means if more current flows through this wire more magnetic field will be generated around it and it is inversely proportional to the length that means if you take the strength of the magnetic field at any point if we take the magnetic field far from the conductor the strength will be very less that means as the length increases from the this point the magnetic field strength decreases if the point is very near to it the magnetic field strength will be very high if we bound the wires like this this become an inductor there is another term called b is equal to mu into h that means mu zero is the permeability of a material that is saying how much it is allowing the flux to pass through it if air is the material then its permittivity is that is called mu zero permittivity of air is called mu zero and it is 4 pi into 10 raised to 7 weber per meter this is the permittivity of the air if you take iron it has a permittivity of around 1200 times that of air denoted as mu or relative permittivity if a magnetic field is applied on a material how much the, uh, it produces the flux this is given by this equation if this is the magnetic field h and this is the permittivity of the air and it is the relative permittivity so if you multi multiply this if iron is used we multiply the permittivity of the air with the relative permittivity how much times then we will get how, how much it can produce this flux due to this magnetic field and this is the core and this has a area if we multiply the flux with the, the area then we will get the total flux phi so the flux through an inductor is depends upon the number of turns if more number of turns are there if a current passes through it each produces flux a magnetic field and is also as we said it is also directly proportional to the current passing through it and it is inversely proportional to the reluctance reluctance means how much it is not allowing the flux to go if the material put inside is not allowing the flux to go if air is the material that is not allowing the flux to go smoothly as iron so the reluctance increases mu is the uh, uh, that means the mu if the permeability of the material increases reluctance decreases permeability and reluctance are opposite so we can say that r is equal to l by a into mu zero if the area of the material is high more flux can be that can afford so the reluctance decreases if the length of the core is large the flux has to travel more path so the reluctance increases so reluctance increases when length increases and reluctance decreases when area increases and reluctance also decreases when the permeability in if the permeability is more the reluctance will be reduced now the inductance can be now what about the inductance the inductance can be we can set as how much flux is produced due to the flow of this much of current due to this much of current how much it is creating the flux that is called inductance if there are n number of turns then each coil produces a flux due to this current so the inductance will be n phi by i this is called the inductance now we have already calculated that the phi is f by r or ni by r if we sub substitute this this will be n into phi we can be substituted as n i n i by this term is r this term is r 
R and we have already here n by i there is also i this i and this i will be cancelled and the result will be n square by r or if we replace the r with n square by l in divided by a c into mu zero this term will be go to the top so n square into a c into mu zero divided by l that means the inductance increases if the number of turns increases the, the main contribution of the inductance is the number the, sec, the other term is the ac if, if the area of the core is big it can afford more flux it can afford more change of flux more change of flux afford means it can handle big voltage high, higher voltage when area is increased the inductor can store more energy and mu zero if the permeability of the material increases with a small current when a small current goes through it a large flux will be generated inside the core when current is flowing through it a flux is generated a magnetic field is created and depending upon the permeability of the material a flux is generated if the permeability of the material is, is very high a large flux will be generated so that means the inductance will be very high now actually what is a inductor is doing that means when a current is flowing like this if the inductor is inductance is very low that means is it tie it allows more current to flow through it and takes only a small portion of the energy if the inductance is high it takes more energy from the electron if it take more energy from the electron this is electron if we take more energy from this electron that means the electron loses its energy so that its speed get reduced when its speed get reduced it will move with a very slow speed that means the current then in one second how much electrons is passing through a point is called current when the speed reduces the number of electrons passing through a point reduces that means the current reduces so if we increase the inductance it takes more energy and store the energy more it store more energy but it does it allows only a little energy we can prove this with an equation we know the, the equation that voltage across an inductor voltage across an inductor is given by the inductance value into di by dt if we increase the inductance if we increase the inductance this will be reduced if the voltage is 10 volt and inductance is 10 inductance is 10 and the rate of change of current is 1 and if we increase the in inductance to 20 if we increase the inductance to 20 then the voltage is the same input voltage is the same so the rate of change of current has to be decrease to half then only this will be 10 that means when the inductance increases the inductance takes the energy more energy from each electron when more energy will be taken from each electron the current will be decreased but the inductor store more energy at that time so by increasing the inductance we can able to store more energy but the current flowing through will be reduced we can see from here that if the inductor values if we take 100 milli milli henry if the inductor value is 100 milli henry in one second the current through is will be raised only uh, raised to 2 ampere in one second if the inductor value is 100 milli henry if we increase the inductance value to 250 milli henry if we increase the value to 250 milli henry then for the same time one second the current will reach to only one ampere that means the rate at which the current increasing is decreased if the inductance increases and here the inductance is very low but so the rise of current is fast that means it, it is taking only a small portion of the energy from these electrons here it takes more energy from the electron so the current 
loses its energy and it will flow slowly and the total rise rise of current will be very low and a high value inductor stores more energy and a low value inductor stores less energy if we take a buck converter like this if we own the switch the current is flowing through the switch to the output and when we close it if the inductor value is high, very high the current flowing through the inductor is very as the inductor value is high the rate of change of current will be very low and when it switch off it can supply the current for long time so the ripple in the current will be very less if instead if you use a low value inductor the current will increase if the we on the switch the current will be increasing with a high rate but when we switch off the current decreases very rapidly so the ripple will be high for so why because it is dropping faster means the inductor has no less energy so the current will be dropping faster here the inductor is a high value inductor has more energy so it can maintain the current for more time so by using an inductor we can avoid ripples this is all about inductance and how inductor is working